morning, everybody. It's Lynn the Leather Bag Lady here again on another great morning. Uh, cool morning. Uh, Leather Bag Lady weather update. Sunny outside and uh, had planned to do some clearing out outside. I've got a lot of junk around the place that needs to go to the dump, but uh, didn't end up going up to the trailer last night to pick up the uh, uh, the... I don't know, the trailer, whatever. Not the living trailer that we stay at, but the trailer that we put behind the car that hauls all the crap. But, um, yeah, I didn't have a good day yesterday after that root canal. Oh, my goodness me, it was awful, awful. I've had nine root canals on five teeth. Um, my first dentist was not... Um, I don't know, how do you say it? The the guy that does uh, my dental work now, the root canals, he says that no regular dentist should be doing root canals. He said it's like your, your GP doing heart surgery. He said it's a specialized um, procedure and it should be done by somebody who specializes in root canals. Now, that is probably, well, it is very valid for me because I have weird roots in my teeth and that is why they have failed so many times the dentist I went to who was a lovely man nothing you know he he did the best he knew how to do but he didn't have all the latest equipment to be able to um, determine how much root is still how much nerve is still in the tooth um, this gentleman has a laser that goes into the cavity that he makes and it shows him on the screen how many um, millimeters or however they measure it of root nerve is left. And um, he said, uh, my root yesterday was uh, singular and then it branched off at the bottom. You know, so it is what it is, but it made me not feel very well. And I was feeling very sorry for myself afterwards too. And I was by myself and... Um, I've had many of them before, no problem, but oh my goodness me, it was so painful, so painful. Anyway, feeling better today, and I've got three kind of cool bags for you today. Um, first one is a vintage uh, coach. So this is kind of a neat uh, bag. It's a combination of canvas, <coughs> cotton, and uh, leather it's a nice bag it's got the leather on the foot nice red um, interior this is it inside there's the Creed um, so there's a bunch of pockets here there's a zippered pocket here it's kind of difficult to show you because the sides are a little higher so yeah it's in absolutely beautiful condition inside um, the strap is um, there's a pocket on the back there's a little bit of discoloration here but nothing nothing that really stands out so that's the pocket on the back shoulder for sure crossbody it will be a very high sitting crossbody and then it's got the, uh, you know, the little clasp here and the old style, the vintage style coach tag. I've got my stay calm and buy a bigger purse t-shirt on. I had those made for me last year, but the lettering always seems to lift, so... I don't wear them as often as I wanted to just because probably won't last that long. So that is bag number one. Bag number two is kind of a neat, neat bag. Last year, this year, uh, what, no, this year, um, bows and things of that nature were very much in fashion. Um, this is just kind of a neat bag. There's a nice pocket there for your phone, nice and deep. It goes all the way to the bottom. This is Emmy Wheelman. I really am not familiar with this brand. I tried to find out about it. Oh, smell the leather. And was not able to come up with anything. 
So I love this style bag. It opens right up. There is a zipper compartment, another creed or name there. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if this is original to the bag because it's a completely different color, but it's kind of a neat little accent in there for your keys. It's a magnetic closure. It's got a nice big gusset on the bottom. Great bag. Shoulder bag. You'll get that on your shoulder. Um, just a, a nice bag. This is actually, I don't know, maybe, maybe I might keep this one. I'm not sure. Oh well. If it sells, it sells. It's obviously um, a lighter colored bag, so I mean, you'll be looking for the spring now, and I mean, I don't think many people are traveling this uh, this winter, so it's not going to be a vacation bag for anybody. Now, this last bag is um, a fairly uh, desirable shape right now. A lot of um, Kate Spade. Um, obviously, this is a very iconic. Uh, I have a, a 1980s. Uh, Louis Vuitton Alma bag, which is this shape. Um, this is high fashion handbags. It's a Canadian brand. Lots of pockets in here. This has a zipper on it too. So if you're looking for some compartments, there is a, a crossbody strap as well. So it's just uh, a great, a great bag. There's nothing on the outside in terms of straps. And there is a little bit of wear here, but, uh, for a cream colored bag, it is in superior condition. It has two um, two zippers that meet in the middle, which just have kind of a nice little decorative detail. There is one little mark right here, which um, and Jules, I haven't, uh, I never did go and onto Amazon and get that electronic nail file. Uh, which I probably will do. So I forgot all about that. I just remembered it this morning. You showed me that a couple, well, probably about a month or so ago. Anyway, so this is the third and last bag. So just these little details really do make a difference. You know, really kind of my, uh, the lady I deal with at the post office bought a black um, bag, similar shape, exact same shape. I wonder if she'd be interested in the white one for the summer next year. Anyway, that is my three bags for today. I've been a busy girl today. I've been listing um, a bunch of stuff on uh, Kijiji. Uh, stuff that I've had forever that I had at the flea market that just wasn't moving. I mean, leather bags, five, ten dollars if you're local and, and you're in Hamilton. Um, check out uh, check out Kijiji ladies bags and uh uh, purses, wallets, um, they're all on there. It's porch pickup only. And, um, like I said, for five, 10 bucks, they're great leather bags. They may have a little damage. They may, you know, whatever, um, just stuff that I, I just can't, uh, I don't have room for everything. So I got to get rid of some stuff. Anyway, all my, uh, ladies out there, gents, if there are any, who knows if you're enjoying, listening to me ramble on about whatever the weather and god knows what please uh, say hi and uh, consider subscribing uh, my subscription my subscriber list has pretty well been the same for quite a few months now It'd be nice to see that grow a little bit uh, my etsy address is is here and um, everything that I show you um, is always available on Etsy. Uh, had a very slow start to the month, but um, things have been picking up a little bit. I've got lots of, not lots, I've got a handful of very regular customers now. So I don't know what they're doing with the bags, if, you know, they're keeping them or maybe uh, looking for Christmas gifts or, or maybe even selling them on. Who knows? Um, anyway. Have a great rest of the day and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye now.